Hey everyone, in this short video, I want to show you a few quick tips on how I took this drone photo to the next level using Amon Photo Raw 2018. So I'm going to start in the browse module, and this is where I'm just going to find the photo that I want to edit. And I know it's one of these three photos, so I'm just going to click on one of those. And this one looks good to me, so take this photo into develop real quick. And here, I'm not going to do a whole lot to this photo. The only things I really want to do is I want to crop, and I want to set some sort of tonality for my image. So I'm just going to head over to the crop tool here. I'm going to hold down my shift key and kind of just bring a tighter crop in for the photo. And then I'm just going to drag it around so I sort of have the numbers in the middle of the frame. I'm actually just going to pull up on the crop a little bit. And once we have those kind of in the middle, we can just hit enter. And now we have a nicely cropped photo. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my tone and color pane here. And I'm just going to spruce up the photo a little bit. And all I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to go down to my shadows here. And I'm going to pull those up quite a bit. And then I'm just going to head up to my contrast and then pull that up a little bit. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we have sort of a basic tonality set for our shot. So now what we can do is we can head into effects and we're going to add a few different filters onto this photo. The great thing about On One Photo Raw is that you can add as many of these filters here as you want onto your photo. You can stack them, layer them on top of each other, anything you really want to do to get creative inside of effects. So the first filter I want to add onto this shot is I'm going to add the sunshine filter. And the sunshine filter is going to darken the shadowy areas in my image, and it's going to brighten the highlights in my photo. So if I turn this on and off, you'll notice that it sort of subdued these dark shadowy areas around my plane, but then kind of brought these white areas to life. So now that we've added that sunshine filter to our photo and kind of brought in this nice contrasty look, I'm going to head up to add a filter and now I'm going to add Glow. And I'm going to use this preset style in here for lighter. And you'll notice that it brings in this nice fuzzy glow look to our shot and really brings out the plane in the foliage here. Well, it's a little too soft for my liking. I really do like how it's working with these trees. But since we can stack as many filters on top of each other as we want, I'm just going to add a filter and I'm going to add Dynamic Contrast. And that dynamic contrast is going to bring in a little bit of that detail we lost when we added the glow filter. So if I turn on dynamic contrast, you'll see that it, they kind of work hand in hand with blurring out the areas we don't want and then kind of bringing in some detail to the areas we do, especially in these plane here. So if I turn off the glow filter with both of these on, you'll see that it's a little too sharp and our plane is still just kind of in there and it looks a little flat. So by adding the glow and then using dynamic contrast, we've really elevated our photo and created this nice, sharp, dreamy look. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, in just a few minutes, we really took this photo to the next level. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dylan with On1 and stay tuned for more.